Good evening and welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist on this, the seventh day of our novena. A special welcome to our main celebrant, Monsignor Bernard Kiley, and any visitors to our parish tonight. Please stand for the entrance hymn. We gather with the sign of our salvation. Kitengua o te matua te tamaiti o te warua tapu. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. A special welcome to those who join us via Shine TV as we record this Mass for the 21st Sunday of Ordinary Time. My thanks, too, to Father Telepopi uh, and uh, the priests and parishioners for uh, uh, allowing us to uh, invite uh, the nation, as it were, into this beautiful and historic church of Our Lady of the Assumption here in Onihonga. We know the church has had a presence in one form of or another since 1848, so we stand on holy ground. As we stand before the Lord, we acknowledge our need always of God's grace, God's peace, God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God, Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are mighty God, you are Prince of Peace. Lord, have God. mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
And as we pray, let us be mindful of the people that we carry in our hearts, the intentions we place before the Lord. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. For we make our prayer through Jesus Christ, your Son, he who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem and summoned the elders, the heads, the judges, and the officers of Israel and they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said to all the people, if you are unwilling to save the Lord, choose this day whom you will save, whether the gods your ancestors saved in the region beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. As for me and my household, we will save the Lord. Then the people answered, Far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to save other gods. For it is the Lord our God who brought us and our ancestors up from the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, and who did those great signs in our sight. He protected us along all the way that we went, and among all the peoples through whom we passed. Therefore, we also will save the Lord, for he is our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Respond to your song. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. <coughs> my soul makes its boost in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against evil doors, to cut off the remem remembrance of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous one, but the Lord rescues him from them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them will be broken. Evil brings death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. The Gospel Commission.
Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the people, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. When many of his disciples heard this, they said, This teaching is difficult. Who can accept it? But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, said to them, Does this offend you? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But among you there are some who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were the ones that did not believe and who was the one that would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted them by my Father. Because of this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, Do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answering him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we come to the end of the great chapter 6, the Bread of Life Discourse in John's Gospel, we have the disciples faced with a decision. Do they stay or do they go? And Peter comes up with this great profession of faith, where else shall we go? Lord, you offer us the words of everlasting life. Almost daily we make a decision, I'm for the Lord or I'm not. By the way that we live our lives, by the way we pray, by the way we use words and put our faith into action. In that first reading from Joshua, we have Joshua just leading the people into the promised land. They've been on a 40-year journey, and Moses has been their leader. Moses dies just within sight of the promised land, and it is Joseph who picks up the man, uh, Joshua who picks up the mantle and leads them through. But when the people of Israel arrive in the promised land, they find themselves much like today, with a whole shopping mall full of spiritual choices. You know, go for this God, or this God's the best one, or this idol over there. And Joshua puts it to the people, well, who do we follow? The God whom we have trusted and guided us over the last 40 years, the God of Israel? And they say, yes, that's the one. Much like Peter at the end of today's gospel section, and uh, Joshua comes up with this beautiful statement of faith and commitment. He says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I uh, remember being at a wedding a number of years ago, and the bride and groom stood up uh, at their wedding reception. And like many weddings these days, it was full of people of all sorts of faith, but they wanted to proclaim their faith and their commitment before those who were assembled to celebrate their wedding. So I'm going to invite you to sing with me this little 
song of faith based on the words of Joshua, I'm relying on help. I'll sing it first and then we'll sing it a few times together. And I hope especially for those of you at home, this will be a part of your prayer today as we recommit ourselves to the Lord using the words of Joshua. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Beautiful, thank you. We'll sing it a few times throughout the Mass as again we recommit ourselves to uh, the God who Peter clearly knows and says, Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. When we think of the words of everlasting life, we think of the wisdom that Jesus puts before us in words, particularly in the I am statements. He says, I am the good shepherd, we are the flock. He says, I am the bread of life. He's the one who satisfies our deepest hungers. I am the vine, and we are the branches. He is the one to whom we belong. I am the light of the world. He is the one who lights our way through days that are often quite dark or full of doubt. These are the words of everlasting life, and we recommit ourselves this day to him. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord hears the cries of his people and rescues them from all their distress. Let us pray to him now with confidence. With Mary, we pray for those who seek to govern, that the poor and the vulnerable may be a common cause. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Savior of the world. By your redemptive power, you preserved your mother Mary from every stain of sin. Deliver us from the evil that lies hidden in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Let us proclaim the greatness of our Savior, who chose to be born of the Virgin Mary, confident that he will hear us, we ask. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal Word, you taught your mother Mary to choose the part that was best. Let us follow her example and hunger for the food of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Through you, Immaculate Virgin, the life we had lost was returned to us. You received a child from heaven and brought forth to the world a savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord And through the intercession of Mother Mary for our own special needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, help us to follow your Son faithfully on earth and come to share his glory in heaven where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the loving Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples and said, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples. He said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patrick, our Bishop, Michael, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Mm. 
Complete within us, O Lord, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.